Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. So the reason for my post today is I wanted to share a little bit of information. I learn so many things every time I sell a home. Every transaction is completely different, whether it's things about the type of the home that I learned or whether it's how to work with different vendors. Um, just learn a whole lot of things. And it got me thinking about the sellers and how they're not in real estate every day. They don't know all of these things that I know. And so I was hoping that by posting this, for anyone who's thinking about possibly selling in the future, that maybe this can benefit you and um, give you some tricks of the trade to look out for. So I wanted to tell you three things that a seller agent should be doing for you, the seller. Top three things. The first thing is that they should show you the CMA, the Comparative Market Analysis. They should show you all of the properties that are on there, where they were listed at, days on market, um, and any other market research that they've done for you. And they should be reviewing this with you. Um, it should be a discussion of whether you price it here or there. Everybody needs to be in agreement. But the very basis of what they should be doing is showing you the research. All right, number two is order and pay for professional photos. Um, this is an expense, um, a doing business expense that realtors have. And uh, this should be offered to you homes that have professional photos made sell quicker. They look better. They're um, priced more competitively because they can be. They look great on the market and more people are drawn to that listing. Um, number three, set you up for each step along the way. So by this, I mean they should be explaining what's about to happen and what's expected of them. Um, a lot of times there are situations that can be avoided just if people had been set up with expectations. For example, having a conversation before the photographer comes, the day before, you know, what things should the seller do? Uh, how long should it take? Should they put the dog up? Um, all sorts of things that you don't know if you're a seller, not everybody knows this stuff. Um, another example is preparing you for the home inspection. So that is a super intrusive inspection. If you're sitting at home working that day, you're gonna need to know that that inspector is gonna be all over the house. They're gonna be looking at windows. They're gonna be in the attic. They're gonna be running faucets, checking the uh, power outlets. They're gonna be all over and it's gonna take a long time. So if you think as the seller, it's gonna be a 30 minute process, you may be pretty frustrated in an hour or hour and a half when that person is still there in your home and possibly the other side of the transaction may show up as well. Can be pretty uncomfortable if nobody's warned you and told you what this process looks like. So I hope that this information helps. Um, if you th are thinking about or know anybody who may be looking to sell or buy property in the Greenville, South Carolina area, please give me a call. I'd love to help in any way that I can. And if you like this video and find it helpful, please um, like and subscribe below. Thanks.